In this video here, we're going to talk about contour, what it can do for you, uh, and some of the rules that are associated with it. Uh, so right here, I do have a single layer um, of a teacup. So in this example, I want to hide you know, some of the drops that you see here so that it turns to a solid piece. Uh, and let me go ahead and show you that. It's easier to show you here than explain the final effect. But I click the contour, and this brings up this right here. So basically, I can hide all contours. Hiding all contours would simply mean that I have a cup. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and click on X just so we can see what's going on. I just have a cup. All those holes are now gone. So let me go back into here. I can go ahead and uh, show all the contours. So all those holes are now back. Let me go ahead and go back in. And like I said, say for example, I wanted to remove those outer drops. So I can simply click on each individual one here. And now I can go ahead and close out of this. And you can see that all those drops are now removed. Um, so contour is nothing permanent. You can always go back into it. Um, you do have zoom features on here, just in case you need to uh, adjust your zoom level but uh, very neat feature to have uh, especially with design space 3 um, with the hide all contours show all contours uh, you also have the ability here to uh, you know hide each one of these as well by clicking on it so you can see that it is disappearing over there so that is the the contour now here are some examples of where contour will not work. So I, I have a cup here. I try to select it and notice that contour is not available. So contour does have rules with it. Obviously uh, you can sort of tell why it's not working right now because it's part of an attachment. Okay, so in order to have contour available, the item has to be a single layer and it cannot be in a group or part of an attached group. So uh, as you can see with the attach, all I would have to do is click detach and now I can click on the single layer and contour will be available just like it was before. So that is one of the rules. Uh, the other rule I already mentioned, if you were paying attention, it is it cannot be a part of a group it has to be a single layer so this right here is a group in order for me to access this and get the contour to be available I would have to first ungroup and now I'm able to uh, select it and have the contour be available uh, just like before so that's what uh, it does inside Cricut Design Space uh, multiple uses for it I will have other videos going over why you'd want to use uh, contour uh, in, in the future video sets here.